Hello, my name is Nina Fickett, and I'm going to be showing you today how I use the graphics newsprint paper as well as the matte adhesive backed film to make a luscious layered up mixed media background. To start off with, I have pulled out my newsprint, cut it off the roll into swatches, ripped it down a little bit further, and then crinkled it nicely up to get some texture on it. I'm then coming in with some gesso and a brayer to get some layers of gesso onto that paper. By applying less pressure with my brayer, I get more distinct wrinkles. I set my gesso newsprint pieces aside and begin to work on the next layer, working with the matte adhesive backed film. To the film, I'm applying some Marabou Art Sprays to the surface of the film. Because the Marabou Sprays are not water soluble once they are dry, I can then turn around and run that film through my inkjet printer, adding some dummy text to the background. My next step is to pull out the graphics chipboard and select which color I'm going to apply my background to. I've used an X-Acto blade to cut that chipboard down and then I'm going over it with a layer of gesso to add additional visual texture. And here I'm spraying on some Lindy's spray. These are metallic sprays and you can definitely see where it is soaking into the chipboard and being repelled by that gesso. And now that we've got some shimmer going on, I'm gonna go ahead and using some matte gel medium, start to collage down some of the newsprint pieces that we brayered earlier. So I'm going to be layering things up. So I've put down some of the newsprint, letting some of that shimmer come through from the background. And now I'm gonna come in with the uh, matte adhesive film that we've sprayed with the Marabou sprays and run through the printer with some dummy text in the background and get that collage down as well. Really the beauty of the matte adhesive backed film for the inkjet printers is that it is adhesive and you simply just pull off that backing and apply it. It's very sticky, it does a great job and so much fun. So I've gotten a couple layers down and now I'm coming in with some uh, water, a paintbrush and some of that Marabou and doing some color work in the background. And here again, you can see the beauty of these materials and how uh, we get a lot of visual texture just from how much that color absorbs into the chipboard, into the pieces of the newsprint, etc. For my next layer, I'm gonna come back in again with the newsprint, but this time I'm gonna really adhere it really kind of scrunched up. So I'm gonna pinch it and then get it collaged down so that I can maximize my texture. To maximize the texture from that final layer of newsprint, I've gone over it with a Stabilo Awl and now I'm spraying it with my mister so that the Stabilo Awl will pool in the textural areas. And to finish off this layered mixed media piece, I add a focal point that I've created using some Joggles Foam floral stamps along with some Ranger Distress Archival inks that I've stamped onto some of the leftover newsprint.